Let's talk club length. There's a lot of times in the rules of golf that we have to talk about a club length. So we'll talk about what exactly we're talking about when we say club length. We're gonna to jump to the definitions section of the rules. And if we look up club length in the definitions, it's gonna tell us that it's the length of the longest club in our bag, except for a putter. Now Ed has two drivers here. Now one of them might be 44 inches, one of them might be 45 inches. Whatever the length of that longest club in the bag is, that's what we're gonna to use to determine our club length for a given round. Again, cannot be a putter, so we're going to get rid of that thing real quick because we can't measure with a putter. So the times we use club length to measure in the rules of golf, one of them is at the teeing area. And if we look at our two tee markers over here, our teeing area is going to be measured from however wide those tee markers are. And then from the front edge of those tee markers, we're going to measure two club lengths backwards to get the depth of our teeing area. And based on those dimensions, that specific rectangle we just measured out with club lengths, that's gonna be entirely our teeing area for each hole we play in a round of golf. Another time that we measure club lengths in the rules of golf, we're gonna come over here, and now we have a relief situation, and let's pretend this is a fairway. We have an embedded ball, we're gonna take relief for this embedded ball, and we have to drop within a relief area. Well, the relief area is also gonna be measured with club lengths, and we know that that relief is gonna be based on a reference point, and we're gonna measure a reference point here immediately behind the ball, for our embedded ball. And then wherever we measure our reference point, we're again gonna use that club length measurement, either going to the left, behind, or the right of, no closer to the hole. And we're gonna use that club length to try and figure out where we're gonna drop that ball in the relief area. So whether we're teeing off to start a hole or we're taking relief somewhere during the play of a hole, we're somewhere gonna have to use club lengths to figure out where that ball's gonna go for our next stroke. 